All right, y'all. I uh, just want to make this video. I'm walking my dog right now. It's May 20th. Um, just went to Concord Orthopedics, which is a subset of Concord Hospital. I got some thumb, wrist, tendon issues. And uh, I was there today. And you walk in, and there's a self-automated checkout machine right when you get in. There's two of them, and there's one person sort of assisting you through the journey of the automated process. And I get there, no big deal. Do the automated thing, that's fine. It's all good. I don't really like doing automated things, but I wasn't sure if we could actually go to the desk and check in ourselves. But um, I decided to do the automated thing because I wasn't sure. Um, so I got that done, no problem. Took my seat. And I'm waiting, and I'm waiting, which is fine. I don't mind waiting. But they have one administrative person checking people in, and they used to have two. So the automated machine has obviously got rid of one of the jobs. And there's four or five different sections in the Concord Orthopedics building. And I'm guessing they all had two administrators and they all went down to one. So that's five jobs lost. Now on top of that, the administrator in the section that I was had to go through all the self-check-in people and check them in manually. So the job is still being done. You're just not interacting with the person. And it was taking what felt like way longer for her to check them all in than either going and talking to her yourself or doing the self-check-in. So that's absolutely ridiculous. I don't understand if they're going to have to check people in anyway. I would think the automated system would be allowed to automatically check people in and you wouldn't have to go through somebody checking you in when you just checked in. It's absolutely ridiculous. And they're obviously doing this for cost savings, but it's not being passed on to the customer. It's not being passed on to my insurance company. It's all being profit. It's all profit for the hospital. It's absolutely, utterly ridiculous. That's $40,000 in just one person that they got rid of for the job to still be done. It's uh, astronomically mind-blowing how little we care. And we just accept it. I mean, look at supermarkets. There's all these self-checkout places now. If for every mm -hmm. self-checkout, that's one person who lost a job. And we have no backup plan. It's not like we're creating more jobs. It's not like there's a universal basic income for people to rely on. I mean, I'm not the biggest Andrew Yang fan. I, I like him. I think he would be a good president. But his universal basic income policy is something every candidate should be looking into. Raising minimum wage is only going to increase the profits of corporations. We need to have a backup plan for these people who are going to lose their jobs. There's 83% of jobs that make under $20 are subject to automation by 2030. The first 22 jobs listed in the census have been jobs since the very first census in 1790, which means that every other job created after those jobs have been trying to find a way to make those 22 jobs easier and less human oriented farming my profession i'm a farmer has automated solar powered tractors that go straight down your lanes with no driver it's gps oriented <sighs> sorry i'm ranting i just think it's absolutely ridiculous how quickly we're getting rid of jobs with no way to replace them and nobody's doing anything about it like I said I'm not the biggest Andrew Yang fan but his policies definitely need to be shared alright rant done